We're back on the other straight so okay subreddit today and it's gonna be horrifying. But even though it's horrifying, it's really fun to read. So yeah, with that being said, I hope you have a wonderful time. Our wives said that if we get 10,000 likes, we can buy a new boat. Please like so we can spend less time with them. Finally, got our new boat. Haven't seen our wives for weeks. Yeah, that's so sad. <laughs> and the fact that they're making this out like it's meant to be funny and cute and relatable is even more sad. Like, yeah, I hate my wife. Am I right, guys? <laughs> Hilarious. Wait a second, you mean you're actually supposed to love and appreciate your partner? Whoa, no way. Like, I know it's horrible, but I genuinely feel like so many people think they shouldn't like their partner. Stuff like this has become so normalized and it's so gross. When your girlfriend tells you the funniest joke you've ever heard, but it's your girlfriend. So what, you don't laugh because it's your girlfriend? Are you saying you don't like your partner or that you don't like women or women are immediately not funny or something? Bro, you should be the hardest person laughing at your girlfriend's jokes. I'm not allowed to laugh because women aren't funny. Like, is that what they mean? I'm really hoping this isn't as bad as it seems because it seems really sad. Me yelling through the front door. Thanks for the delivery just to leave the groceries on the doorstep. Wife, let me in the house. Yeah, see, this is another Another one that's kind of playful and fun, but the actual joke of it is not liking your partner. I don't know, there's something really weird about this. And if I was married and I was posting this, I would feel really bad. And also, if I was married to somebody and they were posting this, I'd especially feel really bad. Imagine being married to somebody who posts memes about hating their wife. In what world is that not sad? Sorry boys, daddy said I can't date. Yeah. Gross. Gross and weird and creepy. Like, yeah, it's definitely pretty questionable if you're buying this for your kids. But more importantly, who's making this? Like, why is this a product in a shop in the first place? It's like all the weird signs that we see on here. Who's making these? My wife took up gardening. I wonder what she's going to plant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, it's a little bit funny. But at the same time, really not. Oh, the top comments. They're going to put a time capsule in there so they can relive their cherished memories a decade or two later. Yeah, I wish that's what they meant, but it definitely isn't. Why a woman needs a husband? Woman, I don't want to marry. I'm educated and self-sufficient and I'm satisfied with myself. But my friends all say that I should marry. What should I do? Psychiatrist, you will no doubt achieve great things in life, but sometimes things won't go your way. Sometimes your plans will fail. Then whom will you blame? Will you blame yourself? Woman, no! Yes, that's why you need a husband. So you can blame your problems on them. The top comment. Thank you for this. My stomach has been bothering me and I knew I'd feel better when I finally threw up. This post gave me instant relief. 10 out of 10 would vomit again. Every time I find Mr. Right, my husband scares him off. Ew. That's revolting. And no wonder it's in an op shop. Oh, that's genuinely revolting. Imagine being married to somebody and they have this. Every time I find Mr. Right, my husband scares him off. I just don't understand. It's so confusing. Probably not gonna have a husband for long. Why would you be with somebody and have this? What? Fun fact you might not be aware of. Valentine's Day was invented by a woman that didn't get what she wanted for Christmas. Yeah, so funny. It's an old Roman thing, isn't it? I know it wasn't really invented by a woman that didn't get what she wanted for Christmas, but I'm curious now. When he whines about the detective not listening to him? What he's really saying is, you're not letting me manipulate you and the story like I want? Yeah, that's the same as being married to a woman. Yeah, so funny and not very, very sad. The guy next to you always looks in his pocket before he orders a shot. Interesting. Do you want another shot? Sure. Another whiskey, please. A few minutes later. It looks like I'll take another shot of whiskey. I'm curious, why do you look into your pocket before ordering each shot? I have a picture of my wife in there and when she starts to look good, I go home. Wow, is it just me or are these exhausting? Yeah, awesome. So funny. Does this diaper make my butt look big? But yeah, once again, who's making these? Why do you exist, disgusting product? A wife is like a hand grenade. Remove the ring and your house is gone. Your wife explodes? That's really not good. This entire subreddit is just bad Facebook memes. 
Son, Dad, I want to marry. Dad, say sorry. Son, for what? Say sorry. But for what? You first say sorry. But what's my fault? You first say sorry. At least tell me the reason. First say sorry. Okay, Dad, I'm sorry. Now you're ready for marriage, my son. Your training is complete. You've learned to say sorry without any reason. I feel like if your dad said this to you, it could be cute and a little bit wholesome if you didn't think about it too much. But yeah, as soon as you start thinking about it, it's like, oh, wait a second, this isn't funny. This is sad. Why some men have dogs and not wives? The later you are, the more excited your dogs are to see you. Dogs don't notice if you call them by another dog's name. Dogs like it if you leave a lot of things on the floor. A dog's parents never visit. Dogs agree that you have to raise your voice to get your point across. You never have to wait for a dog. They're ready to go 24 hours a day. Dogs find you amusing when you're drunk. Dogs like to go hunting and fishing. A dog will not wake you up at night to ask, if I died, would you get another dog? If a dog has babies, you can put an ad in the paper and you can give them away. If a dog smells another dog on you, they don't get mad. They just think it's interesting. Dogs like to ride in the back of a pickup truck. If a dog leaves, it won't take half of your stuff. Right, so these signs are for angry divorced guys. It's a finally all making sense. Because I was going to say, again, what is this sign? Why does this sign exist? But yeah, the target audience is just angry divorced guys. Companies wouldn't make these if they didn't sell. So there kind of has to be a lot of people buying these. And that's a very unsettling thought. Sometimes I like to mess with my husband and hide his stuff where he can't find it. Like I put his shoes in the shoe closet, his jacket on the hanger, and his keys on the key hook. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like this one's okay. I'm 100% somebody who can't find stuff and it's so annoying. Marriage is just a nice word for adopting a fully grown man who can't take care of himself. Yeah, and that's really sad. It's not funny and it shouldn't be like that. And for a lot of people in the world, that's not what marriage is. Your dad is my cardio. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is meant for adults. In which case, that's kind of an awesome shirt, but also a terrible shirt at the same time. Marriage is like a deck of cards. In the beginning, all you need is two hearts and a diamond. By the end, you wish you had a club and a spade. Yeah, and I think that's enough of this subreddit for today, guys. I think I've reached my limits for today. It was a lot of fun, and I hope you had an amazing time. But yeah, we definitely need wholesome memes. You could make a fortune with a pretty face like yours. Oh, really? Thanks. Puts their face in paint. Always so pretty. Paintings of my face, $100. I'll be a millionaire. Wait a second. Was she into me? That's so damn cute. So blissfully unaware. Wait a second. Do you think they like me? 100%. I'm not wearing a costume. I'm here to take your soul. Oh my God. Full size Snickers. Never mind, Margaret. We're good. Aw, wholesome Grim Reaper moment. I love unexpected wholesomeness. Someone dressed a Pomeranian dog up as Paddington Bear. And now the world seems a slightly better place to be in than it did yesterday. Yeah, that's so beautiful. The little red hat. I need to get one of them. A Pomeranian, but also a little red hat. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope you had an amazing time. And if you did, you know what to do. Make sure you like and subscribe and let me know down below what you thought. And the comment of the day goes to Holly. When Vincey reads the creepy asterisk stutters, it makes my soul leave my body a little bit. Yeah, I'm sorry about that, but if it makes you feel any better, my soul also leaves my body when I read it. Some stuff shouldn't be read, and we read it every single day. And on that very positive and reassuring note, I'm out of here. Have a beautiful, amazing rest of your day, and you know what I'm about to say because I say it every single day. Three, two, one, bye! Bye! <laughs>